Okay, there's something. Uh, okay, there's casual. I need to make sure that everybody is keeping up. Because this is bad weather. This is very bad. Ah, we don't get things like this in elsewhere. Okay, but at least we can see that, no? I still say it is a good idea that we stop by the meadery and just see if... What was his name? Sabior? See if he will allow us to you know hang around for the evening and not be out in this mess because it is very messy steed try not to trample my friend hey. i don't think frost would do that i hope frost would not do that Inigo, you are funny. Riding, 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 my bottom is subsiding. Chat them up, put them down, feed them hay, run away, find the bride, be denied. Soar, hide. <laughs> okay. This one forgets that you were going to be a bard, Inigo. You are very good at that. Oh, hey, that's Dragon's Reach. The, uh, coming up with songs on the fly thing. Well, we gotta wait up. We need to get Karsho a horse, I think. Sword hide. <laughs> oh, that was creepy. I know that was just an elk, but still. So creepy. Hello, cow. You keeping warm out here? He's doing fine. <sighs> okay. Keeping up. We are going to stay on the road because... I don't want to get lost, and this would be very easy to get lost in. So I think, if we are going to follow the road, that the meadery is actually closer than White Run. Looking to do some hunting, eh? Nope. Avoid British in paths to the south. Just because I have a bow does not mean I'm a hunter. But that is fine. Run away, cow! Run away! Oh, hey, it's a painted cow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Inigo, your song got stuck in my head. <laughs> it is funny. Ah, this is the meadery. Meadery! Yes. Why is that word so hard for me? Okay. Come on down from there, you. It will be done. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. I hope so. If it is not warmer than it is out here inside, I will be very amazed. And a little bit perturbed. You want to talk? Uh... Any thoughts? I'm wondering if you like this snow as much as I do. Uh, probably not. If you need anything else, just ask. Okay. Kajit got your back. In we go. Oh boy. It is cold. Right, okay. You must be Sabjorn. Speak. Yeah. Do uh, what do you, have you got for sale? Take a look. Hmm. I don't like him. But he has food. That is good. He has mead. He has a lot of mead, oh my goodness. Wait. There we go. Mm-hmm. I am here for you. Okay. 
Mind if go I... Go ahead, ask away. Yeah. Why don't you just relax here for a while? Okay, come and get me when it is time to go. Of course. What can I do for you, friend? Well, you can... Um... Watch the door. Make sure that everything is okay. You know. Thank you, Karjo. I know that is, this is not exactly your normal <sighs> operating procedure. That is words that work, no? Ugh. Yes, my friend. Any thoughts? No. My mind is a tree without leaves at the moment. How poetic. We're supposed to be cleaning this guy. Uh, we're supposed to be getting him out of... Hmm. Where do you think this Machias guy is? Right. He's in the... In a go. Okay. We'll talk over there then. Okay. Make it quick. You, uh... You don't mind if we kind of... Mm hmm Okay. Because it's cold out and we are not good at cold. So... Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. You two sit there, I'm going to go check the weather. Nope. It is still crap out. Just so you know. I know it's only been a couple of minutes, but... Okay. I welcome you, friend. This one welcomes you as well. Uh. So, Inigo. You, uh, doing all right over there? Good grief. So many things on Do this Do you table. ever wonder what it is all about? Life, I mean. Sometimes I doubt even the gods know. Karsho, what are you doing? Yeah, this one does what not know. What is on your mind? Uh... You have my full attention. Right. Um... Could you tell me more about, uh, about yourself? That was an interesting observation, observation just then. You can trust me to carry your gear. I am very strong and discreet. This is true. This is very true. What else is there? You're very mysterious, Inigo. I hate the way chickens look at me. Like they know what I've done. <laughs> All chickens are spy chickens. No? Uh, don't know who they're spying for, but spy chickens. My favorite place in Skyrim is Riften, without a doubt. It smells perfect. I like Riften too. It is much warmer than it is here. Fire away. Uh... What about your past? I know we didn't really get to talk much back in Riften. I grew up in a Riverhold, not far from Cyrodiil. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. I found love, for a time at the least. My brother found death. Ooh. You found love? That seems... Well, now that I think about it, maybe it was not love. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Anyway, all that happened later. Uh, and your brother died? That is not good to hear. I will come to that soon. There is a little more to hear first. Okay. Tell me then. I will listen and not judge, I promise. I have no room to. My mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. I guess I am an orphan again. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss, Inigo. Can't be It must be rough not having any parents. That means a great deal. Thank you. <sighs> what were they like, your parents? My mother is a bit weird, but she's good. She's very good. She probably worries about me. 
Uh, anyway. I suppose they were a bit of an odd couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, they were good people. Which one was the Argonian? Anyway, uh, what else is there in the story? This one thinks it's a long story. My brother and I found much work as sellswords. We never made it to the Imperial City, but we made a lot of coin. That makes sense. What kind of jobs did you do? Like, uh, bandity things or uh, bodyguard kind of things? A bit of giant killing here, a bit of witch slaying there. We took gold when it was offered, but sometimes we worked for nothing. Oh. It is hard to deny those in need whether they have coin or not. We made more than enough from those who could pay anyway. You have a heart of gold, Inigo. Where did your travels take you? Besides the obvious, being Cyrodiil. All over Cyrodiil. From the Gold Coast to the Gerald Mountains. It is a wonderful land, but quite tame compared to Skyrim. Those were happy times. Traveling or working during the day. Camping out under the stars at night. Life was good. That reminds me of when we were traveling together. Before all of the things happened. Uh, what else happened in this story? Of your past. The story of your past. The story of Inigo the Brave. No? I awoke one morning to a lot of noise outside our tent. My brother staggered in, bleeding, and pushed our father's sword into my hand. He said that if I loved him, I would run. He used the last of his strength to rip out the back of the tent and push me down the slope beyond. Oh no. Some khajiit hating locals had blamed us for a spate of robberies in the area, and had decided to take the matter into their own hands. Twelve of them had snuck up on us in the night. My brother died. But I live because of him. Oh no. I'm sorry. Losing your brother like that must have been terrible. That sounds terrifying also. Are you okay? Inigo? Yes. That morning I lost all that was dear to me. Unfortunately, I also uncovered a side of myself I never knew existed. Oh. What was your brother's name? His name was Fergus. I miss him very much, but part of me is glad he did not witness what became of me after his passing. Well, losing him that way was <clears throat> bound to affect you. I'm sure he would have understood. I did not have any siblings growing up, but uh, I can imagine. I had many close friends. And, uh, yeah, not easy. Maybe you are right. It is a nice thought. But I suppose I will never know. Do you... Do you ever wish you had stayed and fought? I mean, you would not be here, probably, if you had, but... Every day, my friend. Every day. Oh. In a go. Uh, I hesitate to ask, but is there anything else that happened? I assume that after this you were, um... Uh, banditing, no? I was recruited by a group of bandits a few years ago. That is when I discovered Skuma. Oh. It was the beginning of a lot of nastiness. Indeed. I was recruited by bandits too, but not that kind. Um. And then you met Dupan, no? Or, uh, no. I was with a bandit girl for a while. Turns out she was using me. She wanted protection, not affection. Oh. As soon as she found someone more psychopathic, I was dropped like a sack of troll dung. Yikes. Did you love her? Or was it just the thing that you decided to do? I thought I did. We dulled each other's pain somewhat. She seemed like the only bright thing in a very dark place. 
Regrettably, she was a vicious, manipulative harpy. <laughs> I do not laugh at your predicament, I laugh at your vernacular. That sounds bad. I left the bandits and took the only ally I had with me. He was also an addict, but we thought we had it under control. His name was Felix. He was a big fellow, good in his scrap. We became mercenaries together. Was he a Khajiit too? Or was he a, like an Imperial or a Nord or something? Uh, anyway, you did well then? After a few months, Felix and I had made a little gold, but our addiction to Skuma was getting in the way. No one trusts an addict, my friend. Especially not another addict. Eee. Uh... Is there anything you can tell me about Felix? Did he, like, try to stab you or something? There is not much to tell. He never spoke about his past, but it was clear he had also been through a great deal before becoming a bandit. That life did not seem to suit him. He had been an educated man at some point, I am sure of it. Ooh. He was violent, but he had retained some dim vestige of honor. I wish we had met under different circumstances. Yeah, no kidding. I kind of feel the way that same way about you sometimes. Ugh. Is there anything else more to tell or do I know all of it now? The, the whole story, I mean, your past and whatnot. One day, Felix burst into my chamber. Instinct took over and I reacted. His murder was my second to last step on the road of dishonor. Oh. Trying to kill you was my last. My journal tells the rest. Read it if you want. I do not enjoy speaking of these things. I have read it. That is my story. Not a happy one, but maybe the happy stuff is still to come. Well, uh, this one will try to make it, the rest of the story as happy as possible, okay? All right. Yeah, one moment, I'm going to go check the weather because... Okay, talk to you later. I don't know, we've been chatting for a while and it might not be too bad out. Hey, Indigo. I care about you. Right? Oh, Azora, that was sappy. And it's still cold. Grief. <laughs> <laughs>